welcome back. Today is the day, 16th of March, the countdown to the general elections that has well and now truly begun. In hours from now, the Election Commission of India will declare the schedule for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections as well as for some assembly elections as well. The crucial briefing that will be taking place at 3 p.m. The dates could be out also for some assembly elections, which include the states of Andhra Pradesh and Odisha. Times now has also learned that the Election Commission could also shed some light on the assembly polls in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Now, with this, the stage is set for a big showdown between the NDA and the India bloc. Remember viewers back in 2019, five years ago, it was a landslide victory for the NDA in the Lok Sabha elections as the alliance won 351 seats with a vote share of 38.4%. The UP at that time had managed to secure only 90 seats with a vote share of 26.4%. But can the India bloc now buck the trend over the last two elections or is it going to be Modi Sarkar Tisri Bar? Let me go across now to uh, Sabe Sachi because Sabe Sachi, today is the day Finally, as far as the appointment of two new election commissioners, we are looking at the today's date being 3 p.m. at Vigyan Bhavan Election Commission of India briefing that will be taking place. Well, absolutely. See, as soon as uh, uh, the uh, both the election commissioners have been appointed, uh, we had seen that several rounds of meeting had took place yesterday at the uh, EC office. Uh, now, immediately after the uh, meeting was over, it was notified that today uh, the election announcement uh, will take place. The dates would be announced uh, for the Lok Sabha polls as well as the assembly uh, uh, polls of the state of Andhra Pradesh and or, 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 Odisha. So at this particular point, as per the sources are to be believed that some light is to be shed on the uh, polls of uh, the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, uh, see, after the centre has passed uh, uh, the act, uh, uh, the uh, security cover as well as the uh, needful needs uh, have to be done and which has been discussed in the meeting. And uh, soon we can expect some light as far as the uh, uh, polls in the, state, um, in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir is concerned. Uh, meanwhile, we have seen that politics is con continuously being played over it. As far as the uh, both the ECs were appointed, uh, uh, we have seen Adhiran Chaudhary as well as several other of the political parties have been raising questions toward it, uh, towards it uh, regarding the selection uh, committee. Uh, the Congress has to say that on what basis uh, six names were selected out of uh, the 200 list of names uh, right. that have come up. But all eyes would be on uh, the poll announcement today and uh, uh, on how many phases the poll is going to take place. Uh, we had already, see, uh, already seen that from regional parties like the Trinamool Congress, they have already said that they want uh, uh, the phases of polls uh, in, in the state of West Bengal to take place in a shorter duration. And uh, this has been a uh, demand of some of the uh, non-BJP rule states. So we have to wait and see how would things pan out as uh, today in Vigyan Bhavan, uh, the important press conference is going to take place where the dates are going to be announced. All right, Sabi Sachi, keep us updated on today's developments. The countdown there on your screen says today is the day at 3 p.m. when the Election Commission of India will announce the dates for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. You're watching Times Now, India's election news headquarters.